All right, we're going to write the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this one. All right, and the slope was going to tell us a lot about it. Uh, but not only the slope, but we need to find a line that goes through this point. First thing we will want is the slope, though. So notice in this equation that the slope is 7. So hopefully you guys remember this is from the last lesson, but a perpendicular line is going to have the opposite reciprocal slope. So this slope here is 7 over 1. We make that a fraction so that we can reciprocate it. So the opposite, since it's positive, that would be a negative. And to reciprocate these means we're just going to flip the fraction. 1 7. This is the slope of the perpendicular line. So we can write this as a perpendicular slope. That's the symbol for perpendicularism. If that's the word you want to use, it doesn't matter. But we can get rid of this now. Okay? So that's going to be our slope. Now for the parallel line, we went ahead and used slope-intercept form. We're going to write this in slope-intercept form, uh, but to change it up just a little bit, we're going to use point-slope form. And this is point-slope form. But we already know the slope. So I'm going to go ahead and go and replace the slope with a negative one-seventh. And I'll replace the x1 and y1 values with the point that was given right here, negative 14, 2. All right, so there's that. We plugged it in. And we will make that a big fat plus sign. Next thing we need to do is to distribute that negative 1 7th into the parentheses. So we would have a negative 1 7th x minus 1, negative 1 7 times 14 would just give us a negative 2. And then, of course, we have that plus 2 as well. And this all equals y. So the final thing we need to do here is just to combine the negative 2 with the 2. That would be 0. And everything else remains the same there. We didn't do anything with that negative 1 7th x. There was nothing to combine it with. And some of you guys, again, uh, you can write it like this, but uh, some of you may prefer just to leave that out. Whatever the case is, we can call that our final answer. y equals negative 1 7th x.